Hi everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with me, Michael Turney. Today we're going to have a look at a super quick and easy way how to get these trail effects on your objects in Adobe After Effects. So let's get started. First, go to New Composition, 1080 by 1080, 25 frames a second for 5 seconds. Click OK. And then come up here to your Ellipse tool, click that. You can change the fill and the stroke up here. Click and drag and hold shift and we'll create an object about this big. If we go to our align tool and align this just to the center and we'll keep it about this distance from the center. Next we'll go to layer, new and then null object and there's a shortcut. Click OK. And then we'll parent pick whip the shape to the null by doing this. So if we hit R on the null, we can now rotate the null and the object will follow it. So we'll keyframe this at zero seconds here and then move to two seconds in the timeline and put one and click enter. So it does one full rotation over two seconds. If we select both of the keyframes and then right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease or F9 is the shortcut. And this will have a smoother transition at the start and end. So we can jump into our graph editor and then select this and drag it to the left while we hold shift. So it's on the same line. And then it should go super quick and then slow down easing to the end position there. There we are. So now we can jump out of the graph editor and then go layer, new, adjustment layer. And then we'll go to our effects panel and type in echo and drop this on the adjustment layer. So anything under this adjustment layer will be affected by this echo. So if we hit play, you'll see it has one echo here. So one duplicate of it. So if we turn that up to 30, so now there's 30 echoes and over a period of 0 0.01 seconds. So it's a lot smoother. So if we play that now, and there we are, a quick and easy way how to get trails on your objects in Adobe After Effects. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at tinny.tv. Thanks for watching.